friends. In Planet Earth dating, it's Sunday, July 19th, 2020. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions, and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the many search for truth rules already given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us. And it's really important to remember that souls have legal standing and host lives do not have legal standing under divine law as it currently stands in planet Earth and its environs. That's right. And our not liking this rule doesn't make the rule go away. That is the reality. And uh, somebody's talking about how that rule came to be. I hear you. And that it was more accidental than intentional on the part of higher powers that what was supposed to happen and what has historically been the assignment is for souls to remain in the lives for the duration of the life. And the soul has uh, accountability for the life. And so the life is presumed to be kind of like the child in the relationship or the, the dog in the relationship. Yeah, that's right. And the soul is the responsible party. And therefore, when something goes awry in the life, the soul has accountability and also the legal standing That's under right. divine law because of the somebody asked why because of the continuity of the soul because of reincarnation that's right and how karma is delivered and what has happened in the black hole of corruption that earth seems to have fallen into is that souls have uh, come unhinged from lives, souls and lives have come apart, and there are a variety of influences, and there are many arguments about uh, where the blame lies, and we don't wish to get sidetracked into those arguments. Exactly. But the souls and lives have come unhinged, and the souls are just kind of floating like plankton, yes. feeding off the lives like the lives are cafeterias, basically, exactly. using the energy of the lives. Parasitism, in other words, is what's happened to the souls, and yet they still have the legal standing, and the system has not been changed. Yeah, and that's right. What now? What now to reopen portals to higher vibrations above all of us? Because surely that's uh, not something that actual divinity would countenance, right? Right. <coughs> so now somebody's quickly changing the topic. <coughs> yep. And they're talking about uh, Kathmandu and Nepal and a nun whose first name is Dolma. That's and right. Dolma is a Buddhist nun. Here on Ground Zero Planet Here on Planet Ground Zero Earth. Planet Earth in Nepal uh, that we know personally because we were Dolma's sponsor for maybe a decade, maybe That's more. Right. And... Uh, the reason they're saying, why aren't you sponsoring her anymore? And we had expanded our support to include not only Dolma, but giving support to the monastery overall That's right. as well, because it didn't seem right to be helping one nun while there were also others who did not have families supporting them. In the Buddhist culture, it's, it's an honor to have a family member in a monastery and so the family supports the one who's in the monastery who is giving honor to the family by their choice of a life of service. That's right. And it's not that way in the States, by the way, because no. these two have taken <laughs> vows and are That's living right. lives of service. And, and the vows are out of the Thich Nhat Hanh, uh, order, Order of the Phoenix. So That's right. uh, we're following the vows for Buddhist nuns. And yet, over here, we're castigated by our family. That's true. And many others also, like you That's guys, true. feel free Unrelated to castigate people. us, right? That's right. But in Nepal, it is an honor to have a family member in a monastery, and there are some who do not have families available to support them. They don't have families, and Dolma was one of those, and there were others in the monastery in the same 
position and so we were providing general support to the monastery and then we began the voices from above were saying look what find out what's actually going on over there what are they doing as the situation on earth is falling apart and it's go time for all of us here to step up and stop the destruction and we found uh, it was disappointing that right. the, they were living uh, the same way that Buddhist monks and nuns have lived for <coughs> millennia, and they were not adjusting to engage to solve the problems, the truly That's enormous right. problems of our times. And then there was a big earthquake in Kathmandu some years ago, and the monastery did it finally engage and go That's out right. to try and help the villagers. But then as soon as the immediate crisis was passed, they just went back to the monastery and they're doing their rituals and I it's good for them, but it, they're doing nothing to help the wider world, nothing That's at right. all. And at that point in time, we eliminated them from our tithe and shifted the tithe more to environmental organizations, That's right. activist organizations, uh, 350.org, uh, Sierra Club, C Nature Conservancy, uh, organizations that are at least doing something. And Rainforest Alliance, Rainforest Trust, the list goes on and on. And also Amnesty International, That's right. uh, basically out of f fear of what might happen in future lives if we don't give to organizations like that. Exactly. And Oxfam, just because we don't think that anybody should be starving. That's and right. Oxfam feeds the poor and International Relief Committee and re uh, sorry, International Rescue Committee and things like that, like aid organizations etc. It's a tithe. For him is a message. Why do you ask? And we <laughs> we want to find, we had originally the assignment to find other organizations who were doing work like this and tithe to them and we were not able to find any. That's true. Uh, we found a lot of organizations that when we would contact them would say, oh yes, we're doing what you're doing and then when we would examine it, we found that that wasn't at all the case. That's right that without the vertical alignment and the training to achieve and maintain, re-establish the vertical alignment, that they, they weren't they weren't doing what That's needed. was needed. For him is a message. Why do you ask? And they're still pointing to Dolma. Yeah, I hear you. And Kathmandu. So we got uh, an email from Dolma today. That's right. And uh, Dolma is saying that even in uh, and in answer to your question, why? Because we were her godmother. That's how they relate to it uh, in that culture. Is we were her godmother for a, a long time, over a decade. That's right. <coughs> so we still have a relationship, even though we don't financially give to that organization anymore. And hopefully the decades of support that came to that monastery because of Dolma, they will continue to provide for her in the remaining years of her life, which are few. She's not young. That's right. So it's funny because we're younger than she is, but we're her godmother. That's right. For him is a message. Why do you ask? So Dolma in her email said that the, uh, and Dolma does not speak English, no. and so it's translated by the secretary for the monastery That's right. who does, is bilingual, and we don't speak Nepalese. No. So uh, she says that the weather is very unpredictable in Nepal, exactly as it is here in our country and all over the world. It's yep. unpredictable in Siberia also where they're having fires and heat waves in Siberia. And that uh, there's big problems with COVID in Kathmandu. That's right. And then she said, but here it's fine. We're safe here. There's no COVID here. Basically saying they're still not 
helping they're not even helping in Kathmandu with the COVID and so the problems that are being experienced here are being experienced there which is uh, the weather disruptions have begun and the uh, we understand that the coronavirus that was identified in 2019 that it uh, came out of the jungle and it's because of destroying the jungle that humanity is being exposed to this disease so this is a disease of the destruction just as the weather patterns are a disease planetarily of the destruction and what we also see is that as is occurring in this country that the good people are still sitting on the sidelines doing nothing because they're just still sitting in their monastery while there's COVID rampant in Kathmandu which is a major metropolitan area and not a wealthy one I missed the message. Why do you ask? And so there's so many people who are wanting to think of themselves as good people and we can feel strongly the desire to want to think of themselves as good people and this is in many many dimensions exactly. and so it's in this dimension but more particularly the feel is we're talking to the guardian angels and maybe possibly to the supervisors of those guardian angels to their own angels That's what that and feels like. I- yeah. it's saying it's the time for sitting on the fence is past it's it's action time now is the time for karma to begin to be applied and to apply it to both tails of the bell curve of karma if we're delivering it to the best of the best the Buddhist nuns <laughs> who are not helping then to also deliver it to the worst of the worst to those who are are pulling the engine of destruction because these diseases of destruction are being created by the engine of destruction. That's right. It's it's directly related. You know how in LinkedIn they tell you you're directly <laughs> connected to somebody or that you have, you know, second degree connections or third degree or whatever connections. It's a different higher power who's speaking. It feels yeah. yeah, very it feels like pain yeah, kind it of. Does, doesn't uh, it? Thank you. Thank you. The microphone shifted and somebody is saying that they have had the chance to be in the presence of divinity a small number of times and how wonderful it was and how life-changing it was and they're speaking of the era when uh, our raw uh, was here in this dimension and working out of this host life and he uh, had come from by his report from a hundred thousand years in the future That's right. because things uh, were still really bad and it was kind of like a stain on his reputation <laughs> and I- he and his wife Isis came from the future because Isis said, this is too bad, (laughs) this is really embarrassing, and he said, all right. And then when they got back here and they saw how horrifying it really was, uh, he didn't run away, and it was very inconvenient for him, and he rolled up his sleeves and got to work, and he worked until he died. He died trying to stop the destruction in a fair and just way, and Pan had worked with our Ra, and then after our Ra's death, uh, Pan picked up the banner and carried on until he also died trying. That's right. And then uh, Pan's soul stream continued to come from the future, just feeding the Pan space, so to speak, with soul energy from the future until maybe it had cleared. <laughs> all the soul energy for maybe a hundred thousand years also. Right. For him is a message. Why do you ask? And being in the presence of greatness like that, I don't we don't know how you can be in the presence of greatness and remain unchanged. It was an honor and a privilege and a great learning experience very grateful for those teachings and for literacy that allows us t- to hold on to even a tiny bit of it. I miss a message. Why do you ask? What now to stop the destruction in a fair 
and just way. Please may we have a delivery of accumulated karma to both tails of the bell curve of karma. Obviously to the best of the best because when we die as is inevitable, when we shuffle off this mortal coil, we want a fair and just check out. And so don't hold any karma in abeyance. Give it to us as we go so that uh, we can arrive clean with just that day's errors. And also, obviously, delivering accumulated karma to the worst of the worst, to those who are pulling the engine of destruction the hardest, and to do that in such a way as to provide guidance to the masses, because we think there are a lot of people who want to think of themselves as good, but when the hand of God isn't visibly smiting the worst of the worst, th the people get confused about what that means, right. and they just don't know how to relate to it and they make crazy assumptions that are wrong. So please may we have a delivery of accumulated karma to both tails of the bell curve of karma in such a way as to provide guidance to the masses and stop the destruction in a fair and just way.